Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlin's new video. Forever in this apartment, not forever in general. So I'm gonna be living in this apartment with no stuff besides stuff out of my suitcase. My really big chair in the living room that I'm actually getting rid of. Um, that's pretty much gonna be the only things here. So I'm gonna be living out of that. Me and Feline both are gonna be living here with literally nothing for, I would say like a, a few too many nights, but it's okay. We are, we're, <laughs> we're on a journey, folks. Why is there such a disconnect between the movers and Amberlyn? I thought she would be living out of her suitcase in her new apartment, not in her old one. And I have just been not myself. Um, besides this whole moving situation, I've just been going through a lot. Things that I will never probably talk about. Just know I'm a human, I am complex, and I just have a lot happening. But I noticed that when I get really, really stressed, I disappear from, from YouTube, like completely. Again, it's natural to get stressed out and have a low mood or other things because of the move and all the extra situations you are not telling us about. But even so, you do have a job, and as a viewer, it feels like you just don't care right now about your job. It's something that comes with being a YouTuber, I think, because most people cannot just stop working when they are overwhelmed. So this is currently my office with all my stuff in it. So this is literally everything. I know a lot of you have been like, why is it taking me so long to pack? Because I wanted to do everything myself, and I did, and it was hard. Feline did help me with packing the TV and like tons of my like paintings and pictures or like on the wall and stuff, but here's everything. This is my huge mirror that's usually in my bedroom, but I think in my new place, I'm gonna put it in my living room. We'll see. But yeah, this is everything. Everything I own, literally the only thing that's not in here is my mattress and my couch. And then these massive boxes, like that one, that one, this guy, and that guy, those are all clothing, and I got rid of so much clothing. It does seem like she got rid of a lot of stuff. I hope she takes this mindset with her to her new place and remembers all the useless things she got rid of when she moved, so she won't let it get that bad again. All right, you guys, my office is now Empty. Anything that you see still is either a stuff that's Feline's so that she's gonna take it or stuff that we're just giving to Goodwill. And I think those two things were just given to Goodwill. But here I am. You guys, I don't know what it was, but like in the middle of the movers being here, which they were so fucking nice. They were so beautiful. I got emotional. I had an emotional moment. I was like, I cannot believe that this is happening. I've lived in this apartment for over three years and it's definitely become my home. A lot of memories. I moved in this apartment with cancer and I'm moving without it. I've had a few relationships in this apartment. I've had tears and laughs and just a lot. Okay, this isn't the memorial yet, so we're not gonna do that quite yet. It has seen a lot, but hopefully your next place will be home for you because you can settle there on your own terms. Moving to be with someone always adds another layer of stress when you break up and now you have chosen a place to stay all on your own, so I do think it will be a lot easier to make it a home. Hello, hi. It is the next day and I'm super tired. It was a hard night's sleep for sure. And I really wanted caffeine because there's a lot of things that I have to do today. And I usually get a chai tea from Starbucks, but for some reason, no Starbucks around here has the chai tea. So I got coffee for the first time in a hot minute. Coffee gives me anxiety, so that's fun. It's just like a blonde coffee, like a vanilla, I don't know, who knows? And then I also got, this is a bacon sausage wrap. Um, looks like this. And I did ask for like four things of sriracha. I did give them, their sriracha is so good. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm dreaming today. Like truly, I'm so tired. I don't, I don't know, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that's good. So this just has like egg, sausage, a little bit of potato, something like that. I don't know. It's pretty tasty. 
I think that the next time we get an update on her diet, she will tell us she was too stressed and unable to cook during the move, so she decided to put her diet on hold and just eat whatever she wanted but in moderation, so I think that's why we see her getting Starbucks but none of her other meals. So this is actually what I got for the cats for the move because it is a long drive and I want them to be super comfortable. Um, it has a built-in like litter box. So they'll have that. They'll have an area for food. They can like go on top of here, but I have a feeling they're not gonna really want to. But um, it's open in the middle so they can like cuddle together because Rarity and Wasabi both love each other so much. It's spacious, they're gonna have room. Make sure to ask the vet, like, should they be in crates or should we get them something more bigger and like comfortable? And they were like, definitely do that because cats hate car rides. Rarity and Wasabi are going to literally meow the whole time. I wanna make them like as comfortable as possible. So I wanted like a professional opinion. That was on Amazon for like $140. Came in the mail a few days ago. So got that set up so the cats can get like used to it. So sometimes they'll like go in there and they'll like sleep in there and stuff. So they're already getting used to it and enjoying it. So I think it's definitely gonna help them feel safer and calmer for the ride. It's really nice to see her get a good setup for the cats. She seems to have really thought this through and I do hope the cats can relax a little during the car ride. Some animals just don't like it and it sucks when there is no other option. And I feel like once I move, I really wanna like venture out a bit um i want to start like posting more on things aka like instagram i like don't really post on there i want to start posting on there more like i want to start doing cameos again like my cameo is open so you can definitely request but i just feel like i haven't been talking about it much so i've been kind of slacking on that but like i want to do that more and i'm really really interested in publishing some of my writing I have been thinking a lot about it and I just feel like I'm gonna have a lot of time like living by myself to like really be in tune with myself and just write and just focus on something that I'm really passionate about. So that's been like very much on my mind. It's always a good move to expand your social media presence and promote yourself. I think she could be doing a lot more than she is currently doing. Influencers these days can work really hard and actually get so much in return. It feels like Amberlyn is doing just the bare minimum and it would be interesting to see her actually work on her social media presence. As for the writing, I really hope that if she is serious about this that she will hire other people to help her make it professional and not something she just puts online without a second thought. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.